Welcome to TL Yarncrafts TV. I'm Tony, your host, and I'm super excited to bring you a review of this month's Happy Yarn Mail from Sorella. So I am so excited to be unboxing and reviewing this Happy Yarn Mail right here on YouTube. This is the very first yarn subscription service that I've tried and I'm really excited that it is from my friend Ashley who I actually met for the very first time on my New York trip. Uh, one of the first things that I realized that I loved about this service is that it actually comes in its own bag that says Happy Yarn Mail. So regardless of what you are expecting from Amazon or from Target.com, this you know for sure is Happy Yarn Mail. So you can get Get really excited about it. It's got confetti all over it and it's super duper cute. So of course when I was opening it I was trying to be super careful because I knew there was going to be yarn in it but thankfully this is packaged perfectly so I didn't have to worry about that. What I absolutely love about Happy Yarn Mail already is that it comes with every single thing that you need to make this project. The project, of course, is created by Ashley, who is the designer, she is the packager, she is the marketing team, she is the one woman show behind everything that is Happy Yarn Mail. So it came with this cute little um, packet of the pattern, a photo, and then on the back it has a link to a video that actually walks through the entire pattern. Inside the package was some yarn yarn um, touch of alpaca by lion brand i had never tried before let me tell you that stuff is so soft so hats off to ashley for picking that it also came with a couple little goodies a pin and a fun your yarn party sticker which was just the cutest little touch to add. So this is all the supplies that came with it. I also needed to add a crochet hook, a darning needle, and scissors. That's the only thing the project didn't have, but everything together is gonna make that super cute Parisian beret. I am clearly too excited about this. So a couple quick details about Happy Yarn Mail. Um, I think these are the things that really set it apart from other yarn subscription services. First off, that it is a surprise in every single box. Ashley is like the queen of social media Media, but she never hints about these on her social media. She never tells you what's going to be in the box ahead of time. So every time it arrives, not only are you excited to get new yarn in the mail, but you're also excited to see what project you're going to be making. When I opened the box and saw that adorable beret pattern, I was like, I love this. I'd never made a beret before. So even some of the elements of the design were super fun for me to try because they're things that I hadn't done before. Another thing to love about Happy Yarn Mail is the price. Guys, this is what really blew me away about the subscription service. It's only $19.95 a month. And I think that's partially because Ashley picks yarns and projects and resources that are reasonably priced, but you can still make something gorgeous and that you really love working on. So it's only $19.95 a month and there's two different ways to be a part of the service. Either you can do it as a one-time, just kind of try it thing. Again, it'll still be a surprise and you'll still do something really fun. So you can sign up for a one-time box or you can do a recurring monthly box wherein you'll only be charged once a month shortly before the boxes go out and you can cancel at any time also free shipping like who even does that which I think is amazing. So one time or recurring monthly box, either way, $19.95 plus free shipping and every single box includes an exclusive pattern that is only available to Happy Yarn Mail subscribers. You cannot find those patterns anywhere else. The box also includes all the yarn you need to make the projects. Um, Ashley picks a yarn herself. So far I've seen, of course, Touch of Alpaca and I think last month was like, Vanish Choice, which is by far my favorite acrylic yarn. So she's picking yarns that are accessible, that are somewhat familiar, but at least still super nice to work with. You also get all the other materials that you might need to make the project. So depending on the project, you might get like safety eyes or fiber fill. The only thing that's not in there is what I showed before. So like a darning needle, scissors, and the actual crochet hook. And then lastly, and I think this is really just kind of the, the cherry on top when it comes to this box, is you get a link to Ashley making the entire project from start to finish. So she's going through what's in the box, exactly how to make it, all of the finishing techniques, the supplies that you'll need, you get an entire video. So even if you're a brand, brand new crocheter, you can still have a lot of fun with this box. She has thought of everything. So at this point, I had finally finished my hat. Uh, just a word to the wise, maybe don't record for YouTube, make a hat you've never made before and try to watch Netflix at the same time. Just throwing that out there. But my hat was successfully done and kid you not, it was a beret. This last piece here, um, Ashley had us making just kind of that little 
I don't even know what you would call it. It sits at the very top of the beret. It reminds me of like a French version of a pom-pom, but they do it on berets. It's just this little piece that kind of sticks out the top. So I needed to sew that on the top of the hat. Mind you, I was not even worried about weaving in ends right now. I just needed to get the thing on there. Um, so there is the cute little French pom-pom, I guess. <laughs> um, but that came out really, really great and it just, brings to mind the fact that Ashley really is a crochet designer. As a designer myself, I definitely recognize and appreciate the time that she puts into projects like this. Um, at this point, you are supposed to cross stitch a heart on the front. I am not gonna put you through the entire painful process of me learning how to cross stitch on crochet on camera, but just know that I tried my best and by the end of it, it looked close to a heart um, and my hair is too poofy to wear this thing anyway so I'm probably gonna end up gifting it to like my niece who's super cute um, and she'll totally love it but either way I totally love this yarn box it was crazy crazy fun and I think the thing that I loved about it the most is I got to really try some stuff I've never tried before um, this is the first time that I had played with touch of alpaca yarn by lion brand this was the first time I'd made a beret this was the first time I made an entire hat on camera um, this is the first time I cross stitched on crochet just a lot of new things to try out and I think that's one of the things that you get when you sign up for a subscription service you get to do something that you haven't done before play with materials you haven't played with before and really let somebody else do all the work of entertaining you <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of Sorella's Happy Yarn Mailbox. As far as the pros, I mean, just everything. It's a monthly yarn delivery. It is trying new things. The price is fantastic. I mean, $19.95 a month for an entire project and everything you need to make it really can't beat that. As far as the cons, I can't think of one thing. The only thing being selfish that I would want is a crochet hook because I am a hoarder of crochet hooks, but that is all just me. Um, if you enjoyed this, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to TL Yarn Crafts TV for more unboxings, reviews, and crochet tutorials. I'm Tony, your host, and I will see you next time.